loosely based around the first reign of Vlad III, aka Vlad the Impaler. Valachia, Reign of Dracula, puts the player in the role of a young noblewoman enlisted in a plot to assassinate Valachia's tyrannical ruler, a role she takes mainly to avenge her family killed in Vlad's purges. Beginning in the year 1462, the game features levels drawn from historical events, such as the night raid on Turgovist and the infamous Forest of the Impaled that greeted the Ottoman invaders. In terms of gameplay, Valachia Reign of Dracula is an arcade-style side-scroller in the vein of Ghouls and Ghosts or Magic Sword. The protagonist comes equipped with the standard suite of abilities any arcade hero might possess, 8-way chargeable shot, double jump, slide, and screen glaring super moves, along with a few novel tricks such as an arrow-destroying sword. The game is challenging but fair, with the difficulty coming more from the need for fast judgments as opposed to fast fingers. Jetboard Gao is a clear spiritual successor to the William Hurricane Classic. Satellite Rush is a lightweight twin-stick shooter with a few little quirks to distinguish it from its competition. The most significant distinction is in the interstellar audience cheering the player on. This audience is the source for all of the power-ups acquired. Keep them excited and they'll throw you a steady stream of weapons. And since your default pea shooter is pretty unimpressive, you will want those weapons, and that means playing a little more aggressively than in some other twin-sticks. All in all, Satellite Rush is a short game, but it can also be deceptively difficult. There are three arenas that can be cleared in any order, and while the first one is generally pretty easy, completing one of them adds additional challenges into the game that make subsequent arenas significantly more challenging.